Hey guys, welcome back. I missed you last night. I took basically what became a sick day. I wasn't planning on doing it, but uh, things just worked out that way. I do want to talk about what I was going to talk about in last night's video, but I'm going to go ahead and do that at the end of this video. So right now I'm going to talk about my pick for tomorrow's trading day. So let's do this. All right, my pick for tomorrow, May 1st, 2018, which coincidentally is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Marika, is Akamai Technologies, ticker symbol AKAM. So Akamai Tech Technologies is a web firm, basically. I know they run a lot of the uh, like the central routing parts of the internet. They have a lot of security uh, based businesses. So security based uh, revenue. Let's see. I'm just reading from the news report here. Um, they have a web division, a media and carrier division, a cloud security solutions division, uh, an inter internet platform, and that's basically what it goes into here on on the news report. Uh, their their revenue uh, year over year, so 2017 Q1 to 2018 Q1 was up 11%, and it was at 669 million for the year, uh, for the quarter rather. Uh, it moved up after hours. Just to kind of comment on the after hours movement of after uh, of Akamai after uh, this earnings report was released, it shot up to a little over seventy five dollars a share, and then it settled back down in settled back down to right over seventy four. Did go down a little over a little below seventy four before that. So what I'm looking at for a short term trade tomorrow, and just looking at the chart here, is a buy in price between seventy two and seventy two fifty. With a sell price of uh, seventy four to seventy five, basically. So, ideally, making if a seventy two fifty to seventy five would be a, th a little over three percent gain on the trade. Uh, again, looking for the dip at about six forty five, six thirty to six forty five. I'm gonna say six forty to six forty five um, Pacific. Uh, it'd be nine nine forty nine forty five Eastern, wherever you guys are. Um, and then looking for that run up right after the dip, and then the run. Now again, when that if that run begins, uh, you want to put a or I tend to put a stop loss underneath when that run begins, so that once you get over your if you cover your commissions, depending on whatever platform you're trading on, um, you know you, you so you're not so that you won't uh, lose on the trade. Uh, you'll want to put a stop loss in at let's say it runs from seventy, you get it at seventy two fifty, and it runs to seventy three twenty five. You know, choose your stop loss. You can either do tight, tight stop loss, seventy three ten, something like that, or you can put a weak stop loss in uh, seventy two seventy five or something. Um, but the use of stop losses is a really effective strategy. Now the market makers can see the stop losses too, so sometimes they'll drive the stock down right to your stop loss, hit that stop loss, and then they'll take it back up. So you gotta kind of, kind of, kind of be careful about where you put the stop loss if it's too tight, because it might get triggered and uh, bust it out, and then you'll miss out on that run. Just a little tip. I did want to talk about what I was going to talk about last night, which is actually South Korea. So you've probably heard in the news that uh, the North Korean leader, dictator, whatever, <laughs> uh, came down and, and sort of tried to make peace or tried to show in the media that he wanted to make peace with uh, South Korean, with the South Korea president and, and the country of South Korea. Now, a lot of people are fairly skeptical about this about this action by uh, Kim Jong, and so they're very uh, hesitant. They're very skeptical to believe that that peace is actually going to happen on the Korean Peninsula. However, it does it does uh, present the possibility that peace will happen. And so, what I'm going to go ahead and do, just as an interesting exercise, just just to uh, just to try to go ahead and understand and research how geopolitical activity can influence stock prices. I'm going to go ahead and put a list of the nine, uh, what are called American depository receipts or ADRs, uh, which are the American depository receipts for uh, South Korean companies. I'm going to go ahead and put the list of the nine of those that you can trade on the three major, I believe it's the three major exchanges. I'll put them down in the link below. I'll link below down there. And I, I went ahead and looked through each one of those, and just just to comment, the two that I really liked were uh, Korea Electric, and uh, there was a bank W Wobby or Wobi or something like that. Basically, those two really stood out to me, 
And I'm going to continue to research those and see if if it, if the probability of peace on the Korean Peninsula does seem to be actually realistic and not just 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 for show, which there's a there's a chance, a high chance, a high probability that it's just for show. But if it but if it if it isn't just for show, then my my theory is that those American depository receipts, uh, given that they pay a pretty strong dividend um, and are likely underpriced due to the risk on the peninsula, likely, I say likely because it's it's not a guarantee, um, that there's a chance that they may perform well in the event that our market, uh, you know, for whatever reason, doesn't perform well. So it's just a way to kind of play the the geopolitical situation there, possibly, or at least be aware of it and how it affects stock prices. All right, guys, that's all I got for tonight. I really appreciate you tuning in, checking out the channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you like the video, go and give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any comments or just want to put gibberish down below, whatever you want to do, I love hearing from you, and I'll do my best to respond in a, in a quick manner. So thanks again, and I'm going to be back here tomorrow with the next pick, uh, which will be Tuesday evening. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.